Hey guys, what's up? It's I Can Fly Jake. Today is the day. Controversial or not, doesn't matter. Today is December 13th and Daisy 1.0 has launched. It's out, nothing we can do about it, and it's decent. That's what I would put the label on it. My final label is decent. So that's the quick overview. Um, we're going to be diving into some of the um, features, reviews of mine, um, some of the current news regarding this 1.0 release, and the future of the game in this video, along with a new trailer they released today. Um, so together, we're going to go ahead and watch that trailer. You can skip it if you want, but it's probably worth watching pretty short, so here we go. Peggy 18. Alrighty, so I just rewatched the trailer, even though I'd already seen it, just to go ahead and refresh my mind on it. Um, honestly, this trailer was much better than the one they released a couple days ago when they announced this. Uh, I think that showed a lot more features, was a lot, a little bit more epic, just a little bit, you know, that now that was epic. Um, but just a better trailer all around, and I personally enjoyed it. Uh, anyways, guys, so moving on. So basically, like I said, the game is decent right now. I would say it's fairly polished. Like these past, this past month, they haven't been adding features and content. It's all been bug fixing. And, I mean, it's been a really good push for them to go ahead and fix a lot of these bugs. I've said this before, um, because obviously before they've been in a crunch to get features out and little bits of content as they rework it into the game. Um, and there's still a lot of guns missing from the game. I've talked about this in multiple videos. Tons of guns missing from the game. Um, the guns that are there work, I would say, 95% well. They're, they work better than they used to, in my opinion, and they look much better. Um, all the guns have individual animations, which all this is really, really cool. It's just a shame that tons of guns are not in the game. And hope, don't take this hate out on me if you're, you know, just finding this out. Uh, but I, cause I'm totally with you. It's super frustrating because a lot of the classic guns I liked aren't in the game. But we're not only here to talk about the negatives. We're mainly talking about the news. So like I said, the game is fairly polished, but it still kind of feels like Daisy underneath. There's a new server browser for the game. Um, but like th just navigating it, it feels like you're playing DayZ and you might be like, what does that mean? How does it feel like you're playing DayZ on a server browser? Well, the reason is because you have to kind of work hard to make the dang thing work. It's, it causes lag as it's loading in the hundreds and hundreds of servers. And I'm sure it is hard to make this work right because there's, it, it's, there's tons of new servers being popped up. Lots more players playing the game right now. Um, but that's no excuse. This is a 1.0 game. Uh, so it just, it's a little hard to make the server browser work. Um, it is new and it looks a little bit nicer with some decent features. It just, it doesn't work that great. So it still feels like DayZ. Along with the rest of the game, still kind of feeling like DayZ. If you play some, you know, high PvP, high loot servers, um, with over a hundred players on them, it's gonna be a little, little laggy. There's been some FPS issues with this patch, but apparently they fixed the majority of them. And tomorrow they're hopping right back on it to continue to fix that. But again, it's 1.0. Like these things are, oh, they're understandable for DayZ, but it's sad to say we're in 1.0 and having a few of these issues. Um, under, you know, the underlying game is fun. I don't want to take that away from it. It is actually fun and it, you can get a decently authentic DayZ experience. Um, especially for some of you new players, there's a lot of, for you to explore. But if you've been playing the beta and been playing 0.63, it's not going to feel that much different. Maybe more polished, like I said, but overall, it's just kind of 1.0 slapped on a decently polished DayZ. Like, it's just, it's polished DayZ, but it's still the classic DayZ with a few bugs here and there. Um, sometimes feel a little bit game-breaking, but not always. Uh, so that's kind of my little summary of what I feel there. 
Um, some of the news, though, this weekend, a little bit of lightning of the mood. It's a free weekend. So if you and your friends want to hop on, they've been questioning getting the game. If you're questioning getting the game, it's a free weekend. And I think that's a good compromise because the devs are kind of saying, we're not launching 1.0 and you have to like trust that it's great. Um, on your own, you can actually try it for this entire weekend, I believe, for free. So that's all good news anyways. Um, and a good way for, you know, you can get an experience in it. And then that way, if you're not happy with how it feels right now, you don't have to get it. So I think that's a decent compromise. Um, I don't agree with them releasing it into 1.0 right now. But if they're going to do it, it's a decent idea to do it. And if they're going to get it out in 2018, now is a good time. Uh, I'm totally fine with the timing. I'm just not fine that they're not delaying it. So that's that's that. Quick little overview there. If you want to hear more on that, go to my last video I made. I go a little bit more in depth about a rant about this whole 1.0 thing. But it's out now, so here we are. Um, I want to go ahead and give... Oh, yeah, say also that the live stream Sunday evening. They want to talk a little bit about the future, show some new gameplay, and just talk about the release in general. The de- that's, I'm saying the devs are doing a live stream Sunday evening. There was no specific time. Maybe check their Twitter. Of course, they're over in... Uh, I believe Eastern Europe, so, you know, their timing is, of course, a bit different from the rest of the world, unless you happen to live near where they are. Uh, also, I wanted to give a quick overview of what has been updated for anybody who hasn't kept up with development of the big name features. So, this is, I'm going to give a quick overview for features since 0.62. This is like, you know, what's been new since 0.62, obviously. So, there's an, and this is just kind of an overview. There's tons of other little things here and there. Tons of other tweaks, but this is just kind of the big name things that came to mind. There's a brand new engine. This game is running on a new engine. Feels completely different control-wise in a mostly better way. There's reworked cars, reworked weapons, new loot system. To to some extent, it's all been tweaked. Like I said, these are tweaks. Some of them feel similar. Some feel more different than others. Uh, Reworked medical system, damage system, zombie AI. The control system is different. Like you can walk and eat now finally. You can uh, walk and drink. There's just a whole new set of controls, and a lot of the actions, like crafting, are done from the main screen. You don't drag stuff in your inventory as much. Like, you can drag ammo to guns, but you're not going to be dragging your knife on top of your can to open it. You're going to need to put that can in your hands, and then you can drag the knife to your hands to, like, open, or you can just hold down the quick slot button that has the knife out. Um, or if the can's on the ground, you can have a knife in your hands, look at the can, and then it'll give you, it'll prompt you to hold down the click button, and you'll, you'll cut the can open. Pretty cool stuff. Um, it's a little more hands-on, but I think that's the field they're going for. Uh, and like I said, a rework to damage system, so certain parts of the body. Obviously, the head has always done more damage, but I believe vitals do more damage. They've been tweaking with that because it was getting a little annoying that sometimes a chest would one-shot you, like if it was to the heart. Sometimes it wouldn't, so they've done some tweaking with that. So basically, everything has been tweaked. They've done balancing all over, and they continue to do this balancing. Um, and on that note, the whole continuation of work, this is a quote from the dev team. And I think it's a nice quote, and it's really, really refreshing to hear. But again, it's just a shame we're in 1.0, and this is when we're hearing this. So here's the quote. We know there is still a mountain of work ahead of us, and the team is not taking this milestone as an opportunity to rest, but as a chance to recover, evaluate, and plan for the future. And I actually, I really do believe this. They've been telling us telling us this, and it's, it's very true. So you'll say, dang, all these guns are missing. Are they coming back? Yes, they plan to um, over time and throughout the next year, be adding all the new animations, custom making them balanced, um, and putting them into the game. And supposedly this whole 1.0 thing, in their minds, I'm not justifying it for, you know, in my opinion, this is just what they say, is a big push to get this game in a state that is balanced and fun so that when they add content, they're not working around their own bugs to even test their own content. Um, and sure, that's a great place to be with the game, but I don't think it needs to be called 1.0. This could simply be 0.64, or th- this could be the beta release. Personally, this feels like a beta release to me, and a, and a good beta at that. Um, it just isn't necessarily the 1.0 I'm hoping for. It's, it's close. It's very close, but it's lacking content. And personally, needs, personally, I think it needs about a month and a half more of polishing. Uh, in that month, they could add some more features. But hey, either way, we'll be getting this stuff over in the future. And I know everyone's always like, oh, future, future, future. Yes, it's, it is still coming. Like they have a mountain of work ahead of them. And hopefully due to these changes and bug fixing, they can do some of it faster. I'm optimistic, but I'm sort of bummed that this 1.0 has been pushed and people are probably disappointed out there, including myself with some of the lack of weaponry. Um, like I said, there's a new server browser. Looks pretty good. You can try it out yourself. And like I mentioned, the FPS issues, they believe they've fixed them, at least temporarily, and they're going to make sure they're working better. It seems to be somewhat server-related. Like, I was on a server earlier uh, in the countryside getting, like, 50 FPS, which is not that good for my system. Um, and then I joined another server with the same amount of players in actually a city area, city area, and I was getting 70 to 80. So, overall, this game has had improved um, performance. So, I didn't even mention that in the feature, or the, the new features of 1.0. Uh, the performance is much better. It doesn't feel like the old Daisy in that way at all. There's, you know, way better frames and cities everywhere. It just feels better in that sense. But if you've been playing the beta, you've already somewhat experienced this. 
Uh, so that's not super new. Anyways, so for any of you guys questioning, should I get the game? My first piece of advice is, of course, to go this weekend and try the free weekend. Give it a try, play for a couple hours, but you need to understand this game is harder than other games. I don't ever see Daisy blowing up in popularity in the sense of like Fortnite or PUBG did, because you can't just hop in and have a blast of fun the second you're into it. Um, it's just not like that. It's, there's a bigger learning curve, and that's the fun of the game is getting better at the surviving aspect. Um, there's a lot of fun things to do with surviving, like hunting, uh, making the campfires. You know, you saw these things, base building. Um, and that's really cool, but it takes time. This is a slow-paced game, but when there's action, it's it's just this, this game scratches an itch of getting your heart rate running like no other game does. Um, and I mean, once you've played it for thousands of hours, that, that effect diminishes. But when you play this game and you work hard and you run across the map and you've got your gun and you've got 30 bullets in your first magazine and you're feeling good, you've got an axe to defend yourself from the zombies, you're not too scared of your environment, well, you have to realize the only thing in the environment you need to be scared of, besides maybe wolves, um, is other players. And that first time you hear a bullet whiz past your head or you get sniped in the head and you didn't even know someone was looking at you, it's going to change you forever because for the few, for the rest of your playing time, you're going to realize that at any moment somebody could be looking at you ready to shoot you and one shot you. Um, and there's people in this, the player interaction in this game is really cool because you really don't know if people are there to rob you, to just kill you on sight. So they're there to help you. I and mean, I've really helped a lot of people in this game and a lot of people have helped me when you're hungry, um, and they'll give you food, and when you're thirsty, they'll give you drink, and sometimes they'll even, sometimes they'll even protect you, or want to, you know, run along with you and have an adventure. And a lot of that's a lot of fun, and I think that, I want to give a piece of advice, if you want to have those sort of adventures with somebody, do it when you have a medium amount of loot. If you're fully geared, another fully geared player is very unlikely to want to team up with you. Uh, I'm not saying kill them on sight, maybe avoid them, or if that's your thing, do your thing. Uh, but a piece of advice, is when you've got a backpack and maybe an axe, a little bit of food, that's the prime time. Maybe a pistol hidden in the backpack. I'm just saying. But when you've got a fully loaded, decked out AK, uh, AKM on your back, you're not going to be looking too trustworthy. And I don't blame people for doubting it. So that's a little piece of advice there. If you want to have some adventures pe with people, meet them early on the coastal towns or do it when you don't have something to scare the person or they don't have anything to scare you either. Um, and a lot of times if they already have friends, they're not going to be interested in running with you. But just a little quick piece of advice because that was a little bit annoying for me to figure out way back in my beginning days. If you guys are still watching, I really do appreciate you hanging out this long into the video. I want to hear your thoughts specifically on how this game is feeling for you. Are you satisfied? Are you partially satisfied? You know, 1 to 10, what would you be rating it right now? Um, have you played, if, you know, for some of you that are trying, I really want to hear from some people that are trying it for the first time since 0.62, or heck, for the first time ever, ever, that's even more interesting, um, and that's awesome that you've watched this video, and heck, even more awesome that you're this far into it, because a lot of people dip out, and that's understandable, but anyways, guys, I really appreciate you guys as an audience, and I can't wait to see more of you guys in future videos, um, I read every single comment, so if you drop a comment, there's like a 99% chance I'm gonna either like it, respond to it, or simply read it, if I don't respond, it's probably because it's bland or annoying uh, so don't be that way I don't think whatever it's still engagement so anyways leave comments I love to read them love to hear from you guys make sure to drop a like on this video it shows a lot how you're feeling um, and just shows me that you're watching all the way to the end here and I really do appreciate that hope to see all of you guys in my next future daisy video